dates are like children. You know, they have to be cultivated and they have to be looked after and watered and you have to take the pollen from the male and hand pollinate the female and you get these elite female cultivars that are bred over centuries to produce the most magnificent dates. And if there's a hiatus, a gap in this continuity, the whole thing falls apart. Sarah sent me these seeds, and then she said, they're from Masada, so I said, oh, that's nice. And then she said, try to sprout them. So I said, what? How old are they? She says, 2,000 years old. So I said, I can't sprout those. <laughs> she said, try. Three months into the project, I happened to say to Sarah, oh, by the, by the way, one of your dates sprouted. Nature has tricks up its sleeves and it can let its seeds stay dormant for thousands of years and we think it's gone extinct and boom, it takes a pair of golden hands like Elaine's to bring it back to life. So for me, it's, it's a beacon, it's a symbol of hope.